It's 9pm and Chris is responding to an emergency call. Just come straight through, guys. Little Luke has through. suddenly lost the use of her back legs. <laughs> Debbie and her son Jonas noticed Luku starting to stumble a couple of hours ago. All right, she's definitely got some weakness there. You can see she's propping out, just trying yeah. to support herself. Yeah, have you got what you pulled off her? There are three different types of ticks that attack animals. The most dangerous is the paralysis tick that injects toxin straight into the bloodstream. The hallmark of a paralysis tick is the fact they have two lighter coloured legs that are shorter, which are the middle pair, and you can see these ones are lighter coloured and they're shorter. So it is a paralysis tick. You can see the size of that crater. That, that tick's actually been there for quite a while. Yeah. See how she's just doing a little bit of a gagging? It almost looks like she's trying to vomit. That's just a sign that she's... She's just starting to feel the effects of that toxin, of that tick toxin around her throat. Tick paralysis works forward from the hind legs to the head. It's now reached Luku's chest, putting her in the danger zone. Dogs obviously don't pass away from ticks from, from having weak back legs. It's when their breathing becomes paralysed and they lose the ability to, to clear their throat and they can actually be at risk of, of vomiting and then, then inhaling it. The antitoxin is being administered, but it's still a race against time. If I had to say what my biggest worry with Luku was right now, it'd be aspiration pneumonia. It's the number one killer of dogs with tick paralysis for a reason. It just shuts down their ability to breathe and they can't survive that. I'm just looking for any dramatic changes in her breathing or her heart rate. Back at Bondi, Luku is now struggling to breathe as the paralysis tick poison continues to infiltrate her system. For Luca, it must be an incredibly weird, but also scary feeling to all of a sudden lose control of your body, to not be able to move your back legs and then not be able to breathe, to start to asphyxiate. And that's what she's going through right now. The antitoxin is now fighting the poison in Luku's system, but it will take several hours before Chris can be sure that it's been successful. Yeah, she's not air she? No. That's probably a response to the toxin. Yeah. If she makes an attempt to vomit and actually doesn't bring it up properly and then takes a big deep breath inwards, then that vomit goes straight into her lungs and from there she can't breathe through that and it could be the end of her. Yeah, Luke, can you feel another tick on you? If so, you've got to tell us where it is, otherwise we've got to spray you. We've got to spray you, don't we? At the Bondi Clinic, Luku is being given a spray treatment to make sure there's no more paralysis ticks lurking in her fur. You look a bit rough there, Luku, don't you? Huh? Chris has just given her the antitoxin, but Luku's back legs are paralysed, and the tick poison is now threatening to shut down her breathing. Maybe tell her the guy in the blue shirt isn't all bad and she doesn't need to be shaking like that. I think she knows that already. They, <laughs> they suss people out pretty quickly, aren't they? She knows you're on her team. She's on Team Luku. I hope so. Even though I've given Luku that antitoxin, it doesn't mean that everything's going to be OK. Oh, she's shaking. They can still get worse for 24 hours after you remove the tick. The antitoxin helps but it's not a cure straight away. All right. Okay. I'll leave it with you. Thanks no so much. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Right. Even though Debbie has left and has said goodnight, I just know she'll go home and she won't sleep. She'll be sitting by the phone waiting, hoping that it doesn't ring, because she knows that if the phone rings, it's not going to be good news. Is that miss? It's now 1.30 in the morning. Chris and Erin will take turns keeping an eye on Luku. I know it's not the most comfortable sleeping position. Yeah, I know. But it helps you breathe. Mm -hmm. The worry I have is if she has a vomit and we're not watching. If she does, if that goes into her lungs, she pretty much has no chance. I'm not going to be able to sleep if she's like this, so I'll take first watch. How about that? Alright. Two hours on, two hours off. See you in two hours. I'll be here, mm -hmm. looking at her, I'm and sure she'll be here, here, looking at me. <laughs> All right, lights? Yeah. See ya. Sleep well. I'll try. <laughs> hey, how is she? 
Yeah, go have a look for yourself. You'll see. Next morning, after catching up on some much-needed sleep, Chris is back at the clinic to check up on his tick patient, Luku. Hi, Luku. Um, you're walking. The lucky survivor's legs are still wobbly, but definitely working. Luku's gone loco. <laughs> there are, however, some telltale signs of the toxin still attacking her system. Luku can't go home for another 24 hours, even though she looks so good. It's because her gag reflex, that ability to stop herself from inhaling a food, still isn't strong enough. Still not much of a gag there, is there? Huh? If she was to have a meal right now, there'd be a decent chance that it'd end up in her lungs and that, that could kill her. You know what, though? You need to rest. You mightn't think it, but you actually do need to rest. You can't take on the world right now. Look who. Can you eat safely, huh? You ready? Well, it's gone. So there was meant to be some suspense there, but you, you just you swallowed it. At Bondi, tick patient Luku is now eating without any problems. Lick clean. And has convinced Chris she's ready to go home. There you go. Hello, Luku. Hello, Tilly. Oh, you all better? Oh, so sweet. All four legs in full working order. That's the way we like you. You gonna get in one more lick? No licks? You just want to go, don't you? I thought so. See you, Debbie. <laughs> Thanks a lot. That's all right. Later. No problem. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm sure she'll remember you. Oh, that's what they all say. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.